In 1989, Luke Williams and Butch Miller made their final stop from wrestling around the globe to the hub of sports entertainment. The Bushwhackers! There's a new tag team. They are the Bushwhackers. Just as quickly as the untamed tandem had arrived, the Bushwhackers endeared themselves to the WWE Universe with their peculiar antics, trademark march, and palette for licking heads. Bushwhackers, they are most eccentric. Bloody lovely, tell your mother! <laughs> As the Bushwhackers marched their way to their peak of popularity in 1991, the boisterous manager Jimmy Hart would go on to devise a devious plan in an attempt to gain tag team supremacy. This act would transpire during a six-man tag team match between the Nasty Boys and Earthquake versus Tugboat and the Bushwhackers. What a six-man tag we're about to see! This is the class of the big people! Tugboat tagging out for some reason, and the Earthquake going to work right away! Down to the cows! One, two, and... Oh, Butch coming in again! No, wait a minute, here come the Nasty Boys! And here, Jimmy are included! And Tugboat just nailed Bushwhacker. And the Earthquake off to Robin. No! And the look. White just oh, a man. Jimmy Hart got to the Tugboat. With the unexpected Tugboat treason, a new formidable tag team had emerged. The Earthquake, the Typhoon, together you're talking about tonnage, baby! The natural disaster! Nobody can stop us! As the natural disasters ran roughshod through the WWE, and with the tag team titles in their sight, the destructive duo's first obstacle on their path to tag team glory would be a match at the 1991 SummerSlam against a team looking to exact retribution, the Bushwhackers. Big-time tag team matchup on tap. Well, here they come. Here yeah. they come, King. And their opponent to be accompanied to the ring by the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant from New Zealand at a total supply weight of 489 pounds. Luke the Bushwhacker. Look at these two morons, JR. How can you like Guys, well, they are kind of enjoyable. They're, they bring a smile to my face. That's not easy to do. I'm going to tell you something. These two morons, well, they got, hey, they got a big, big task ahead of them. No pun intended, Jerry. You're right about that. Earth, earthquake and uh, Typhoon. I think that is their real name. Yeah, I think they should change their names to the Tank Brothers, Sherman and Septic. Look at them. Look at the size of Earthquake. Oh, my God. There you are, Luke and Butch. Put your arm down, you're losing friends. New Zealand. New Zealand's contribution, along with Tony Gurria and a couple of sheep to the uh, WWE. Sheep Let's get him out of here right now. And look at this on the outside. What is going on out here? They're doing their best impersonation of the two Stooges. Which one's Shimp? Luke, Butch, and Shimp. And look at that, now they get next to Andre. Hey, Andre's a pretty good backup. You're not kidding. Jimmy Hart out there with that megaphone trying to restore some order here. How can you, how can you condone that loud mouth Jimmy Hart? What do you mean? I love Jimmy Hart. Good grief. Keep on dancing, Jimmy. Keep on dancing, city boy. Come on, come on, Andre the Giant certainly has a vested interest in this one after Jimmy Hart, that scoundrel. Oh my gosh, this bushwhacker, JR. I, I've been in the ring with him. I think his roll on has rolled off. Gee, well, look at this. Ow, ow. Biting right to the glutamus maximus. Or the butt cheek. And that's a lot of biting to do there on Typhoon. And uh, the referee is starting to slowly lose control. Earthquake hits his own partner. And look at these bushwhackers, JR. They're idiots. Oh! Double teaming Typhoon. 
right into Earthquake. The Bushwhackers just, I mean, they don't seem to be concerned ooh, about how large their, their opponents are here, do they? Very unique teamwork here. Ah! Between Luke and Butch. And now look at them. And look, look at the Typhoon and Earthquake, the National Disasters on the outside. I'm telling you, the Bushwhackers have run off two of the biggest men in this business. Could it be their older? I think so. What's gonna happen now? Man down, man down big time. He'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. And he's headed back in. Timber, and he falls hard. He misjudged the range on that one. And now he's back out onto the apron. there. But can he keep it up? Can he keep up this performance? <laughs> well, this epic oh. tag team matchup continues. Natural disasters against the Bushwhackers. Oh, there's another one of those classic Bushwhackers. Oh, this. Stomping the feet. Oh, my goodness. Earthquake now once again. Well, the, the Bushwhackers to survive, they've got to quicken the pace, and that ain't what that's not what's happening right now. Look at the size of these guys. Look at Earthquake. Do you know, JR, his car has stretch marks? Oh, no! Look at this! He's a big man. The whole arena's shaking. Can you match these guys in the buffet? Uh oh look out, look out, look out. Oh! oh no! I'll take a seat. Have a seat and that's have a three it. count. That is it. And back to New Zealand they go. Look at Jimmy Hart. He's so happy. Here are the winners, the Mitchell Disaster. Standing at a massive seven feet tall, Kevin Nash barreled onto the scene as Shawn Michaels' bodyguard, Diesel. This is a Mack truck, and this man protects Shawn Michaels. Seven feet, 300 plus pounds. Nothing can slow this man down. With Diesel's commanding look and attitude to match, it was clear Diesel was fueled for greatness. Nobody touches Diesel! Diesel would go on to conquer the world heavyweight title against Bob Backlund in record time. A bell rings and boots in the midsection. Backlund! 